we are now in a situation where it's a case of will Ukraine survive as a nation? It's, I wasn't born when Stalin was around, but this is, we're going back to the 30s and 40s. When we have such a threat to the Ukrainian nation, then what Canadian Ukrainians are doing until now is not enough. They need to do a lot more. And then they need to do, you know, it doesn't matter in some ways what the Canadian government is being so weak. I mean, that's just Trudeau and his attempt to, to tread in the footsteps of his father, which he'll always fail to do. That's irrelevant because there's a lot of Canadians, I'm sure, including non-Ukrainian Canadians, by the way, who, who can't believe what's happening in Ukraine. Everywhere I go in England, and I'm not exaggerating, everywhere I go in England, including remote places like the Yorkshire Dales where I go walking, there are Ukrainian flags. There are pictures of Zelensky in pubs. This is pulling at the heartstrings of many people because of what they've seen on television. Women and children, um, refugees, I mean, 12 million Ukrainians were displaced. Half of those internally, IDPs, internally displaced persons, and half as refugees going abroad. The crimes and, and, and all of the other expulsions and, and the destruction of Mariupol and Kharkiv and elsewhere. This is pulling on the, on, the, on, the, on the heartstrings of a huge number of people in the West, not just Ukrainians. Why are Canadian Ukrainians not using that to their advantage? When they're crowdfunding, the crowdfunding should not be only in the Ukrainian Canadian community. This is something that I'm sure many people outside the Canadian Ukraine community would love to donate to. They all would love that Putin and his people get a get get more of them get killed and sent to hell. They would love to help in that. They would love to help the Ukrainian military do a great job. Everybody is stunned at the bravery of the Ukrainian military in the West. Everybody. And all we're doing is trying to help them, trying to help them defend their own country, trying to help them defend their national identity. So let's try to do a lot more than has already been done. It's Canada should be alongside the Scandinavian countries, the Czech Republic, Poland, the Baltic states, and Ukrainians in Ukraine, Canada should be standing alongside them in raising money for these drones, for the expensive Turkish drones and for the other types of drones. There's, a, there's all sorts of potential military activities taking place with the help of Ukrainian volunteer groups. It's time to realize this is the real McCoy. Putin and the Kremlin, backed, by the way, in an invasion by 80% of the Russian people, want to destroy Ukrainians, want to destroy the independent Ukraine state. We should do everything we can to try and stop that. Slava Ukraini, Slava Ukrainski Voyanum. Glory to Ukraine, glory to Ukraine's armed forces.